Hello, and welcome back to Stephanie's Movie Reviews. I am your host, Stephanie Thompson. I am a member of the Screen Actors Guild and AFTRA, a classically trained singer-songwriter, a vocal coach, and an actor myself. Well, in this show, we'll review four categories of films, action, family, drama, and comedy. In this particular segment, we are going to review a drama called Dunkirk. Dunkirk. Well, so I was never like really big on history when I was in school, but I wanted to see this movie. I thought it was going to be really good, and it was. My mom kept saying, when are you going to go see Dunkirk? When are you going to go see Dunkirk? And I was planning to see it, but when I saw it, I was like, okay, this movie has gotten its props for a reason. It was amazing and it tells a very powerful true account of what happened uh, it's based on the true story of the evacuation of allied soldiers from Britain Belgium and France who were cut off and surrounded by the German army during um, from the beaches and uh, harbor of Dunkirk France between May 27th and June 4th 1940 during the, the Battle of France in World War II. And it was really, like the movie was, it was so good at showing the hopelessness of the situation. It really was, because these soldiers were stranded, man. I mean, they were like sitting ducks for the Germans who are flying the planes overhead to just bomb the heck out of them. And you're just thinking, what on earth is going to happen to these guys? And then this miraculous thing happens where all of these people come with their boats, these civilians come with their boats, and start bringing the soldiers back over the sea. And really, you don't get the magnitude of how powerful it really was, the actual event was, because they didn't have as many boats in the, in the movie as there were in the, actual, in, in the actual telling of the story or in the, in the actual event. But you still got the feeling of the the relief of the soldiers. And Mark Rylance played one of the captains of the boats who came and rescued the soldiers. And Cillian Murphy was one of the uh, pilots that got downed during the, um, during the skirmish. And he ends up on Mark Rylance's boat. And it's interesting, their kind of, their interplay. And Kenneth Branagh plays one of the officers and he's you see him trying to be so stalwart and so you know stoic in the face of such overwhelming odds against them and trying to be strong for the soldiers and you see the soldiers just you know looking so defeated and it must have been quite a sight to see all of the boats that day coming to rescue them. And it was so nerve wracking watching the, 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 the planes go overhead and you're like, oh no, planes are coming, planes are coming, they're gonna bomb them, you know? And then seeing the Allied soldiers' planes coming and rest, you know, and and taking over and and bombing the German planes and everything, and it was just, it was a powerful, powerful movie, and I gave it five popcorns. And again, it's a movie to see on the big screen because you can see the magnitude of it better. That Christopher Nolan did an excellent job directing. So, anyways, see Dunkirk for sure. That is my take on Dunkirk the movie. Hi, I'm Jamie Lee Mapp, CEO and founder of Skin Fitness here in Las Vegas. We've been serving Las Vegas for over 17 years. We're proud to announce we just won 2017 Spa of the Year by Image International. That's the skincare company of the Miss Universe pageant. 
We offer exclusive treatments like our Time Eraser Facial, which uses multiple modalities and literally erases time. Our Pore Purge, which is the ultimate in hygiene. And our Fire and Ice Facial, which literally removes and soothes the skin at the same time. Come see us at our new location here in Village Square. We look forward to seeing you soon.